U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy met Taiwan's president in California for talks that have already prompted outrage and dire warnings from China. The Republican leader shook hands warmly with Tsai Ing-wen on what is technically a stopover after her trip to Latin America to visit two of Taiwan's dwindling band of official diplomatic allies. Economic freedom, peace. I'm optimistic that we will continue to find ways for the people of America and Taiwan to work together to promote economic freedom, democracy, peace and stability in Asia, McCarthy said as the two posed for pictures. Dueling demonstrations from both pro-Beijing and pro-Taipei camps gathered at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley for Tsai's arrival, while a small plane flew overhead trailing a banner that read, One China. Taiwan is part of China. However, it is no secret that we have demonstrated a firm will and resolve to defend ourselves, that we are capable of managing risks with calm and composure and that we have the ability to maintain regional peace and stability, Tsai said in New York. China views Taiwan as part of its territory and has vowed to one day seize it, by force if necessary. Beijing balks at any official contact Taipei has with other countries. This week, it warned McCarthy, a California native who is second in line to the U.S. presidency, that he was playing with fire by meeting Tsai. Taipei enjoys bipartisan support in the U.S. Congress and has grown closer to Washington under Tsai's leadership, much to China's annoyance.